And Fort Bend County's top cop is on his way to Capitol Hill. Tonight, Troy Nels is talking about his future in the House of Representatives. Nels defeated Democrat Shri Kulkarni for the honor to serve as representative for District 22. The representative-elect met with our Keith Garvin to discuss what's next. He's joining us live with a rundown of that conversation tonight. Keith? Dominique Chris, Troy Nails was elected sheriff for Fort Bend County in 2012. He'll now be headed to Washington to serve as a congressman, but says his focus will remain here at home. I'm just glad it's all over with. Fort Bend County Sheriff Troy Nails is now also congressman-elect Troy Nails after a solid win in the race for Congressional District 22. Headed to Washington next week for freshman orientation, Nails says in addition to veteran and citizen mental health, he'll be focused on flood mitigation and infrastructure funds for District 22. I believe whatever side wins, there's probably going to be a, a, a very large uh, infrastructure bill, a stimulus package coming out of there to, to help stimulate the economy. In a hard fought campaign that at times got personal, Nails said he never received a congratulatory concession call from challenger Sri Kulkarni. But the two wound up at a meeting together earlier Friday and appear to have made amends. Believe it or not, uh, uh, we shook each other's hand and gave a hug uh, and just we moved on. We're professionals. Nails plans to spend three to four days a week in Washington, but as much of his time will be right here in District 22. Making sure that I, I serve the constituents that put me in office and, and I just I'm never going to let them down. And Nails added that he was disappointed that his twin brother, uh, the Fort Bend County Precinct 4 Constable Trevor Nails, was not elected to succeed him. But he promises that the transition for the elected uh, sheriff, the newly elected sheriff, Eric, Eric Fagan, is going to be a smooth and also professional transition. Reporting live from Fort Bend County, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Keith.